What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. While we're seeing the crypto market that is absolutely making a move today, uh, we've seen Bitcoin make a move up to $30,000. It has since come back, and you see a lot of things that are making moves as well. Off of the news of you know the spot Bitcoin ETF, as well as you know XRP having a, a slight win as well. There's just so much that's going into this as creating positivity. But I want to come with you, and you or actually you come with me on a journey to understand exactly what needs to happen in order for this crypto bull market to happen. And it's not very difficult. It's not difficult to understand. And I believe that these three things need to happen in order to see the crypto mar market absolutely explode. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon. Those links are also in the description. Don't forget about my uh, credit card YouTube channel, which will be linked in the cards. If you guys want to join me on live streams every day, we do live streams every Monday through Friday, sometimes on the weekend. But if you want to see uh, long live streams Monday through Friday, early in the morning, definitely check out this channel and subscribe for more of that content. Anyways, like I said, the crypto market was moving today. Now we see it at about a 3% increase. It was at a 5% increase up to a $1.13 trillion market cap. It's currently sitting at a $1.12 trillion market cap. But you know, with the cutoff, as you look at the 24 hours to 24 hours, that's the way the coin market cap really uh, does that, that math or does that there. But we saw XRP that was running. We saw BNB that was making a move. We saw a lot of other things that were making moves. And one big name would be Solana that was up 12% at one point today, up to about $27. So a lot of the crypto market was moving. It was in the green. It was exciting. Uh, you know, we had live streams that were getting a little bit more interest and a little bit more traction because people were like, what's going on? Is this the start? Are we going to see the bull run right now? Well, no, we need a few things to happen in order for that to take place. And I'll tell you what those things are. So the first thing that we need is something that I mentioned in my last video, which is XRP's official win. If we get XRP to officially win, like win the whole thing and not just settle and ask for, you know, just, hey, you know what? I'm going to give you a million dollars and we'll, we'll call it quits. We'll call it even. That's not a win right? While it is a slight win and it will create hype around the crypto market, it doesn't give you the things that you need in order to fight the cases that they already have out there with Coinbase, Binance, and others that are there. If you don't have the case law, it, this does not mean anything. If you don't create regulatory clarity, it does not mean anything. So we need to have that official win to where all charges are dropped and you see XRP come out on top, Ripple come out on top. What happens then? You see the market absolutely explode because you understand that Ripple being so involved in the banking system in the US and you know around the around the globe, um, you know them being so involved in that and how uh, big that this can be. Not only Ripple but also XRP as that default payment option that's there as that currency. So being heavily involved there and seeing that XRP has that official win, that's going to bring crypto to the top. You're going to see the bull market start, maybe even um, really start to blow up at that time. It doesn't even start. It's like getting into full swing. The next thing that you need to have happen in the crypto market is the Bitcoin spot ETFs. If you don't know about the Bitcoin spot ETFs, basically this is going to bring a lot of traditional investors into the market so that they start investing and adopting crypto. The problem that we have in crypto right now is the lack of adoption from institutions, from financial institutions, hedge funds, uh, businesses, and big money because maybe they're just looking to invest into ETFs, index funds. But as you have more traditionalists that are into different types of ETFs get into 
this Bitcoin spot ETF or Ethereum spot ETF, well, now you have a little bit more interest within these top two cryptocurrencies that now have a trickle down effect to the rest of the market. So it creates more bullish momentum for the overall market when you see that spot ETF that officially gets launched. And the last thing that we have that needs to happen is the Bitcoin halving, which will happen. It just needs to have that build up not necessarily just happen and then start movement afterwards. It needs to have that buildup. And this buildup needs to happen maybe three, four months beforehand. As we hit the new year, we need to be able to see that build up and understanding that the, that we are, we're waiting to see this Bitcoin having and the bullish momentum that comes with it, that's supposed to come with it. So as we have that, all three of those things, that should be something that really explodes the crypto market. And an honorable mention, just to say of something that needs to happen, we don't need any more of this SEC negativity. We need to have a lot of these cases start to reach their conclusion and uh, an understanding of regulatory clarity overall. If we can get that, then all of these things hold a lot more weight. But if we don't get that, then all of these things that we see might not end up holding the weight that we think they hold. Because you look at what happened this year and even just a simple ruling for XRP and how big that was supposed to be, it didn't end up reaching its full potential, even though the SEC kind of backtracked and said, look, we're going to challenge this. We're going to appeal this. So we need all of these things to happen as well as a lack of negativity that comes into the market. We can't have exchanges that are collapsing. We can't have uh, exchanges that are being sued, cryptocurrencies that are being sued by the government or by, you know, um, anybody, really. We need to make sure that we're on track to see cryptocurrency succeed. And all of these things, I think, officially can get us to the promised land, can get us to where we want and, and get us way above where we're seeing this. You know, we're seeing a 3% uh, increase. How about a 30%? How about a 300% increase? Where is your expectation for where the crypto market will be? Do you believe that it will get back to previous all-time highs where we saw a $3 trillion market cap? Do you think it will go a lot further, 3.5, $5 trillion market cap? Understand this, that the crypto market doesn't stop at $3 trillion. If you compare that to where the stock market, stock market is, and that's worth, what, $46 trillion? You think cryptocurrency can't be worth what the stock market is? Understand that businesses and cryptocurrency are two separate things. If we are using as a form of currency, that should be way more valuable than the businesses that we're spending those currency at. So um, what do you think it's going to be at? I believe it's going to be you know, at a $5, $10 trillion market cap to start, but definitely worth a hell of a lot more as time goes on. Remember, this is just the beginning. When we hit this bull market, this is going to show the real power of cryptocurrency. Guys, if you could, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.